in Skyrim once again today, and we're in Right Run, um, up by Dragon's Reach, and we are going to be covering buying a house in White Run today. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. All right. <laughs> Imperial guards like to talk a lot of mess to uh, anybody who's uh, got their spells out and ready. And uh, we're gonna have to wait a little while, mm, not till noon. And we're gonna find Provincius Evanisi, because he's gonna sell us this house. <clears throat> You should be coming down these steps. There he is. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake. I serve Yarrow. All right, Balkan. and then tell him I'd like to purchase a house in the city, and you have to have at least five thousand gold. I've got about eight thousand. Splendid. There's a house available right now. I'll take it. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. All right, now we've got the key Enjoy to Bree's home. To Dragon's added. Reach. And that's the house that we'll now own in Whiterun. And the cool thing about owning a house is it's a great place to store your items because none of the containers inside of it will respawn. Although um, Hod and Gerda's house had seemed to be in a good location so far. Do 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 do. All right, let's go check out our place. Let's see on the local map. Where would it be? There it is. Oh. All the way by the entrance. I was trying to push a lock. Ah, put a location marker down, but whatever. Alright. Alright, that's the entrance there. So Bree's home should be one of these houses. That's house Grey Man. There's a rift here in Skyrim. Amarin's house? Luthgird's house. It's got that interesting marker on it. I haven't found out what that means yet. Okay. Oh. Uh, Alright. Uh, I'm still too high up. Huh. Durr. Okay. That's the War Maiden, so our house should be here. There we go, Freeze home. There was a miscellaneous quest for that. Oh. It's got a little table here. It's got a pit in the middle for something. And let's check out the upstairs. Oops. Oh, this is our attic, I guess. There's a chest we can put stuff in. And a bed we can sleep in. Let me rest in my bed. Alright. Alright, so, we're gonna go buy some stuff for our house. Because I still have plenty of gold left. I've been stealing my way to Richdom. <laughs> and it costs an extra 1800 gold to get all the upgrades. And we're just going to buy everything. So let's head back up to Dragon's Reach and find Provincius Evanici. Because our house is looking pretty bare.
Alright, where's Provincius at? He's upstairs, I guess. No, oh, that's Straw Belgruff. Where is that dude? All this standing around is rubbish. You should be taking the fight to the storm cloaks. Hmm. Seems to run off during the day. Let's check upstairs once more. Stay out of trouble, Red Guard. Maybe he's out in the great porch. <laughs> is this him? No, I think that's. Uh, oh no, yeah, it I is. I serve Jarl. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, right. very busy. Perhaps I can assist you. Alright, so I found out that uh, Mr. Provincius actually doesn't sell his upgrades while he's out there. So, let's wait a couple hours. See if he leaves the porch. He doesn't look to be up here anymore, so let's go inside and find him once more. Ah, here he is. I, the Jarl is as you. All right, now like you tell him you'd like to decorate your house. There are many ways to improve your. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for. Now, what would you like to purchase? Now there's a whole bunch of stuff here. You can get kitchen Very furnishings. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Alchemy laboratory. Um, I'll try to show you each one one by one. All right. Actually, and that, I just thought about it, that would take too long. So, let's Very just well. buy all the stuff we like can to, get. Very well. Loft decorations. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? And dining Very room decorations. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? All right. So we've gotten everything we can for our house, and so now we're gonna head back. All right, we're back at our house now. Let's go inside and see how it looks. Ooh, wonderful. Nice. So we got a very nicely decorated place. Sacks of goods. We have a cupboard we can store things in. Ah, oh, there's some gold in there. I'll take that. I have a real kitchen. Oh. There was this door I forgot to check earlier. Oh, now we have an alchemy lab in here. That's pretty wicked. And here's a chest you can use. I'll come back here and I'll actually just put my alchemy stuff in here. All my ingredients. Chest full of ingredients now. Killer. We have wine. You could actually, if you wanted to, you could go around selling some of this stuff back um, to make money uh, for what you just purchased. But I'm not going to worry about that because I actually like having a nice looking house. <laughs> and you have all these little tables and things that you can put things in if you want. And table here, and we've got our chest there. Now we have a dresser too. So all sorts of places where you can store stuff. You got books. Hey, killer now. Haha, <laughs> and you got an iron shield and two iron greatswords. 
In case if anyone ever breaks into your place, you can pull those off the wall. <laughs> so yeah, and I uh, believe we can even use our cooking pot here. Very killer indeed. So yeah, um, I would suggest uh, picking certain items. You know, you want to store food somewhere and find a cupboard or whatever. And then do whatever. Oh, we have an epic to be a weapon rack. Ah ha ha. Let's take some of these special weapons I've got. Put them on my rack here. Yeah, ha ha. That's killer looking. I can put. Uh, that I might want to keep. I use a poacher's axe. That's a special weapon. There we go. You can only store two items in a weapon rack at a time. But that's still a very nifty little thing we've got. Let's see if there's something else that I haven't seen yet. I would imagine to some extent you could uh, place items on the ground and they would stay in place here. Ooh, a weapon plaque. Ha ha ha. So you can store all sorts of special weapons in here. Oops. Let's put that back. I have these special weapons I've been finding. Can you put another one or just the one? I guess just the one. Oh no. Put my bull back on the table. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's kind of crap, but whatever. So that's really neat. And I guess this is a weapon rack as well. Although I don't know if you'd be able to put um, all three weapons back if you were to take them off. Um, I think that does it, about does it for a breeze home. Uh, very nice house though once it's fully decked out. Well, and you even have some uh, food you can harvest up there. Alright, well, that covers this guide. Thank you for watching. Alright, so I actually we're back into the house because I noticed something else I forgot to mention. We have a bookshelf. And I can place books on it that I have collected. And it will be stored on the bookshelf. <laughs> Only one isn't going to do much. But we'll come back with some more. Alright, we're back in our house and I've got some books now to put in my bookshelf. And I'm going to take that one, and I'm going to stick with my more valuable ones. Yeah. There we go. Let's see. It's a nice looking book, but it's not that valuable. <laughs> I might as well store it. Light armor forging. Spell tone flames. <laughs> Alright, and we can put some other ones in there. second level. We can place more books. And there we go. <laughs> so that's our nifty little bookshelf there. 
bad, and I think that's the uh, last item that I haven't checked out yet. If I find something else, I'll add more into this video. Well, here's another bookshelf in the alchemy lab. So let's put some more of our books there. This one can store on a few less, it seems. And still place a lot of books down. Word. We're really filling out our house now. 